Oh, si, sí, senor. Me crazy. Me crazy, Caro. Me gonna eat Mexican ice cream for the next challenge. Yes. Yes, senor. Ay, loco de la cabeza. Ay, loco de la cabeza. Me do the Mexican hot and spicy chimichanga ice cream. Hot and spicy. You see? Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. Mexican ice cream. This is the shit that put me in the hospital. I want to prove to y'all. I'm ready to go back to work. Yeah. I got two left. Two left. Two left. Oh, si, sí, senor. Me loco de la cabeza. Ah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh my God. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? That's the old soda pop on my channel. Says I should divorce Mike Nelson. Well, I tell ya. I won't have to divorce him. He's going to end up putting himself in the honest below. If he's out there drinking right now, up his whole check, he's got high blood pressure. Just like me. And he's supposed to be taking pills. They told me that he could die of a heart attack anytime. And he said to them, what well, uh, I guess I just die of a heart attack. I can tell less. He should have locked his ass up right when he said that. I got him right on YouTube saying that. Watch the video. He actually told the doctors or nurses that if he dies of a heart attack, oh well. He's, he, he's, that means he's Try and commit suicide. I believe he should be locked up in the fucking nut house and uh, under authorization. That boy needs medication. Zola. <laughs> I can care less about drinking. My health comes first. I'm saying that after I'm shoving down this ice cream. Hey, there ain't no alcohol in here. I'm just spicy. But y'all know me. So I just did the pickle. <laughs> pickled. Pickled pork chops. And pickled herring. And pickled turkey gizzards. Y'all going to be seeing the videos coming up real quick.
Yeah, my Hero 5 just got done uh, charging. And uh, I'm running two more videos right now about this challenge that you should be seeing real soon. It's not very long. I don't know if it's like two minutes or 140 minutes. But they should be coming up right now. Fifty subscribers. Come on, people. Fifty subscribers. I already did um I did the chips. I got that on my Hero 5 too. I did the chips, but they were stale. <laughs> they were stale. And I showed on uh, on the Hero 5 their due date was June 30th. Best best if sold before June 30th or something like that, best taste or whatever. Best if used by. Yeah. You can you know when you can tell when they're when they're uh, stale. It's when they smell like dirt. I'm sorry, I don't eat dirt. But I did, I did eat quite a few of them though. Watch the video; it's coming up. Yeah. So I did the chips, did the ice cream, and, and I did the, the, even though the doctors say, nurses say, whatever, no vinegar. Duh! I just realized, oh my God. And I was laying in bed here, oh my God, I, I did get a gut ache. I did get a gut ache. I did get a, a gut ache. Oh my God. I felt it just ripping me all apart inside, but you know what? I got a cast iron stomach and I haven't shit for three days. That's right. I did have the squirts though a couple days ago. When I get the squirts, after I get done with the squirts, I don't sit for a couple days until it builds up again solid. Yeah. So either I ate something bad or it's just my fucking nerves. You know, my nerves. And then probably right after I went through this pile of bills, I went through my bills. Right now, uh, only Fleet Farm is after me. Not, not uh, Best Buy, not Walmart. They're, they're not even fucking with me. I think they're the ones that are trying to call me, you know. But I ain't answering the phone, so. <sighs> but uh, Fleet Farm is, you know, they. Already got to a collection agency or something like that. I was told, I watched that on YouTube, don't pay your credit cards. Don't. Don't pay your credit cards. Don't even acknowledge to them that you even know about it. It's been a year since I paid mine. You know? What are you going to do? Put you in jail? Don't pay your credit cards. Because what happens is, I'm going to teach you. What happens is, with your credit cards that don't get paid, what they are is known as, uh, okay, all this shit's running through the system, running through the system, running through the system. Okay. After a while, they give up on you. They just stop sending you mail and shit, you know, it's just a waste of time. So what happens is these got these realtors or people that uh, buy profit sharing or whatever. They pay off your debt. But they only pay off you know, okay, so if you owe $3,000, they're going to pay them probably $1,500. They're going to pay off the $1,500 and then come after you they try to get to three thousand and make a fifteen hundred dollar profit. Uh, and as long as you don't acknowledge to them, you don't answer none of the calls or answer any of their letters. Uh, you know, you just you're a ghost, just like them goddamn YouTube videos. You're a ghost. Yeah. 
as long as you don't acknowledge to them, they have nothing to stand on. So now they just wasted their money on the bad deal. They're not going to take their time of finding you and taking you to court and shit like that. They're not going to because that's, that's just so. You know how many millions of people out there, if they tried doing that, millions of people, you know, it's just going to be filed as a lost claim. That's it. See, I was paying my credit cards. My ex-landlord put me in debt, okay? And how she put me in debt? By evicting me. When she evicted me, I lost half of my shit there, okay? Half of my shit I lost, you know? And uh, I got shit in storage. So I'm paying for the shit in storage, right? And uh, that's extra money. And now I'm paying extra rent. You know? And I'm paying a higher electric bill, a higher gas bill. You know? She got me in so much debt right now. I'm paying over at least 800 bucks a month to live here. When I was paying, when I was paying 375 a month, and my water bill was cheaper, my electric bill was cheaper. You know? So maybe all together, I was probably paying about 475 a month to live there. Pretty cheap, right? 100 bucks, yeah. to live there. Plus I didn't have storage or nothing because everything was there. Everything. I've been there for 16 years. And then to top it off, she pulled this fake ass lawsuit deal. So she sued me for $3,000. You know that $3,000 was? That was uh, <laughs> a whole year's rent she got out of me. Out of five months. Five months. She got $500 a month out of me. Okay, so I'm paying $800 a month here, right? And plus $500 a month together. So you got $1,300. There is my whole fucking well more than my whole paycheck, you know, a paycheck and a half. So, I had a half a paycheck to live on. Tell me how was I supposed to be able to pay my insurance for all three vehicles, uh, pay for the gas to go back and forth to work, pay for the stickers of the cars, pay for food, pay for the rent, and, and uh, Oh yeah, well I've been paying on Summit Credit Union. I've been paying on that. I always give them a little extra and I got a, a stack of bills from them. I'm not even opening them, but I guess the way they work is that, uh, you know, if you're late, whatever, your interest just goes up, I can pay the interest. No problem. Once I get back to it, I'm only fucked right now because of this. Health problems. You know, this is not my fault. You know, i just been cursed. And now, starting next month, which is tomorrow, or Saturday, September 17th, I got to go to court for the Laverne, Laverne, Lover trial. The Fox Lake murder trial on We Go Trail. I, I've been subpoenaed to go to court for his murder trial, which were my neighbors downstairs on Green Street. Even though I told him, 
keep me out of your business. I told him, keep me out of your business. So I'm going to do exactly what he did to his mother. He, he got subpoenaed, you know, because he was already in jail there. The court and the jail is connected to the same building. So they, they subpoenaed him to testify against his mother. And you know what he did? He pleaded the fifth. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to plead the fifth. That means I see nothing, I hear nothing. I say nothing. I have the right to remain silent. That's the Fifth Amendment. They even tell you that when they read your rights when you get arrested. You have the right to remain silent. That's the Fifth Amendment. You have the right to remain silent. And anything you would say would be used, used against you in the court of law. Because, uh, hey, I wasn't there when she got murdered. How can I be a witness? I was not there when Salih was murdered. I was not there. I was in bed sleeping. Yeah. And yes, I did admit the cops came and questioned me. Oh God, maybe that's it, huh? That I told them December 3rd they were downstairs arguing and fighting and smashing shit up. I was upstairs doing carry out. I, I got on YouTube. I got on YouTube. December 3rd, 2016. I was doing karaoke. So that's that's my alibi. And the louder they got, the louder I turned the music. I told them, keep me out of your business. I even told the cops. I told Laverne and I told Soleil, y'all can go ahead and kill each other. I don't give a fuck. Keep me out of it. And they laughed at me and said, oh, Carl, we ain't going to kill each other. We love each other. Okay. You tell that to the judge. It was low. But Vern saying he didn't do it. But uh, his mother's boyfriend said that he did. At least that's what it said in the paper. They even said in the paper that uh, Vern's mother testified against him. They got on her on videotape that she says, Mama, I did it. And she said, you did what? I, I did away with her. So. They already got that in the paper so everybody knows. He, he, he turned against his mother, and his mother turned against him. Ain't that nice? And the way 
that he turned against her is when the cops came in a second time looking for him. This Mickey called the cops and said there might be a homicide at We Go Trail. There might be a dead body in his truck in the garage. Yeah. So the cops came right away. They came in there looking for Laverne. His mother said he's not there. So they came to the house where I lived, downstairs, realized he ain't there. So they went back to the house saying, are you sure he's not here? This is all in the paper, so, you know, everybody knows this. And she says, like I said, he ain't here. Five minutes later, Vern come walking out of the bedroom saying, I give up. <laughs> YouTube girl kiss your script. You know? He said, she, he said, she said, they said, I said, keep me out of it. I don't know nothing. I'm pleading the fifth. YouTube crowd kiss the trap. I got to go on September 17th. <laughs> they don't want me there. Yeah. And he got the same judge that I had when Annie took me to court for the damn toilet. Same judge. And he's going to look one look at me, one look. He's going to take one look at me and go, Jew again. I go, yes, Your Honor, I tried telling you that me and Vern got the same landlord and, and they were the reason why she said the downstairs was completely unlivable. It wasn't because of the damn toilet. It's because they destroyed the whole downstairs. They did, not me. Leaking toilet. She just used that as an excuse. And, and, and she scammed the, the whole court system. She scammed me saying that she going to have the place clean and have my stuff removed. She did nothing. She lost the house. Yeah, she lost the house. You know, what do they call that? What do they call that? Foreclosure? YouTube, Carl Kitch, subscribe. See you later.